Hey guys, it's Steve from Featherlight, and in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at one of the best kept secrets of the new YC series keyboards from Yamaha that almost nobody's really talking about. And that's its audio interface and its iOS integration. Now, I've already done a complete review on this keyboard, and I'll leave that info in the links below, but for the time being, let's dive in and check out more about it. One of the most surprising things about the new YC series keyboards from Yamaha is the way that it integrates with iOS and mobile devices using its built-in USB audio interface, but it does it in a way that you would never expect. So we're gonna start by using Apple's camera connection kit, and that's USB on one side and then a lightning connector on the other side. If you have a newer iPad that uses USB-C, then you'd be going from USB-A and B to USB-C. That simply plugs into a regular USB cable, and one end of it plugs into the two-host connector right here on the YC in the back, and the other end of it is gonna go to our iPad. Apple also makes a different version of the camera connection kit that allows you to charge your iPad at the same time you're using USB. Either one works great. Now we've got our older iPad Air set up in front of the YC61, and we plug in our camera connection kit from Apple, just into the lightning port. If you have a USB-C newer model, you'll simply plug that in directly to your USB-A or B connection right out of the back. And then we're gonna start up an iOS app called Module from Korg. And this is effectively just a sound module in software. And now we're gonna turn all the engines of the board off completely. And we are effectively playing the sound module inside of our iOS app now. So the only audio you're hearing isn't even coming in the audio input like we showed you for the I.O. section. This is actually going into the audio interface that's built into the YC61. So this keyboard has its own fully fledged audio interface built right into the keyboard. And it's going out our iPad into the audio interface. And all of that audio from our iPad shows up right here, pre-mixed into our master volume. So when I play, the iOS sounds, and I adjust the volume on the keyboard, the volume of the iOS app goes up and down. This is unbelievably cool because it allows you to use your iOS apps as backup sound modules or as layered sound modules, all without having to have any of the modules turned on on the YC61. So if you wanted to just use it as a controller, you can do that here as well. So for those of you that use MainStage, for example, or any of the apps from Apple, and you wanna build complex setups based on both your iPad and the YC's sounds itself, the opportunities are absolutely phenomenal. So it's as simple as turning on one of the engines inside the YC. All of that sound is pre-mixed in the audio interface that's built right here inside the YC61, and it all comes out neat and tidy on the master volume knob. That couldn't be a more complete and simple and straightforward setup, and just opens up a huge palette of sound possibilities with just an iPad and this keyboard by itself. So that's a quick look at the audio interface and iOS integration of the new YC series keyboards from Yamaha. And as you can see, the ability to create layers with stuff like main stage and module, and then add them to the keyboard itself and its patches, that makes this series of keyboards real game changers. Hey, if you learned something or if this was helpful in any way, please hit the subscription and notification bells. Stay safe out there, be creative. We'll catch you guys in the next video.